uh, as Asafa mentioned, just trying to figure out where you are and what you need to work on over the next uh, couple of weeks before you get to Eugene. So are you going to be out of the blocks here in this 200 like you were in the 100? Are you as eager to run a 200 right now? As you uh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not as eager. <laughs> <laughs> My energy, uh, <laughs> energy is not as high, no. <laughs> uh, I love it. It is a good day to run. 82 degrees here in Nashville. Not a lot of wind at all right now. It's been gusting a little bit at the backs of the athletes down the home stretch, but it is time for the women's 200 as Candace Hill and Brittany Brown headline this race in lanes five and six. And that is Miss Brittany Brown, number 10 in the world this season, running well. Courtney Johnson on her outside shoulder. Candace Hill and Ashley Henderson to the inside, but this is all Brittany Brown out of the blocks first and first to the line. Wow. Oh, 21. And it is a 21.99, the fastest time ever run in the state of Tennessee, and a new career best for Brittany Brown. What'd you see there? Whoa, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. impressed. I'm very impressed. Why? Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Why? What did see you see? Coming. Why do you think it happened? Well, based on based on their personal best and and and, and uh, what do you so see? She, she comes off the curve there. Coming off the curve, you know, she she looked relaxed. But the last the last 50 meters, she she, she kind of seemed to be to ease up a bit. So she has she has some more in her. Right. So I'm very shocked and impressed. So you can see the power that she was yes. reserving, not yes. what she showed. She was reserving. Yeah. Ah, okay. So at 21.99. Brittany Brown becomes the fourth woman this outdoor season to break the 22 second barrier. She moves from the fourth fastest American now to the second fastest American, the number four time in the world here in the women's 200. And Asafa called it before the meet saying this track is really, really fast and that has held true to form here this afternoon. So when you run that well and you're so close to a big meet like the U.S. Nationals, what what does that tell you? I mean, you saw the little smile on her face, but what kind of confidence do you think you leave the track with? Oh, that that's a whole different confidence right there. Yeah. You know, I remember when uh, I had a, a rough year and I was running 10 holes, 10 holes, and the coach was like, just get it together. And I ran 9-7 after that. The confidence just went right through the roof. 9-7s yeah. all year long. Wow. So, just that one race, huh? Yeah, that's one race. That's one race. And she will remember what she did and just keep repeating it. Mm. 2199. She came into this race at 2222 from three seasons ago in 2019. But Brittany Brown, now one of the favorites to make that USA team that'll race in Eugene later this summer, the first ever World Athletics Championships in the United States. And she ran hard and is taking a second to talk with Serenity here in just a moment. And we'll show you the lane assignments here for the men who are getting ready in the 200-meter dash. Excited to see Josephus Lyles running in lane number five, the semifinalist of the Olympic trials, set his personal best last August at the pre-classic in 2003. He will headline this field that gets ready in their lanes coming up here in just a moment. But Brittany Brown is number four in the world, and now she talks with our Serenity Douglas. Brittany, I'm sure you didn't even know this, but you are now number four in the world with the 21.99 win legal. Tell me about that. It feels good. Jackson, Heidi, I felt better in the hundred. Did to come back out here and put the PR down? I can breathe. <laughs> I'm excited. I've been training hard. I was happy I was able to come back and refocus and reset my mind to kill this too, and I did exactly what I wanted to do. So, just thankful and blessed for a PR. Yes, athletes can get a lot of defeat, you know, from false starting an event the same day, but you came back and ran amazing. Tell me about how you were able to refocus. Uh, track is like 100% mental. <laughs> Got to give yourself a second to feel it and then put a cap on it and then get back into your warm up. So I think it's just about re bringing back your feelings and your emotions because I know I could be able to run fast and run hard. But um, yeah, I was, able, I was happy I was able to. Regain my composure. <laughs> and 18 days out from USA Trial, I think that be a little bit scary, but tell me about how you feel. I feel good, you know? I felt cool, calm, and relaxed today. Um, I feel great going into the Nationals. I'm excited. All right, perfect. Congrats. Thank you.